Supposing you look at this, and let's see what material we need. You will need a cell, a bulb with a holder, a key with a large enough hole, some connecting wire, a thick metal wire with a plastic coating, two clamps, and of course, a wooden board. And how this is going to work for us? Now, from this stiff wire, in this section, the insulation has been removed, while these have the insulation cover on it. Now, how does this complete the circuit? From the cell, this is the wire that goes through this and back, connecting the key, the bulb, and to the second terminal of the battery. Let us see how such a circuit would work. If you hold the key in your hand and take it up such that it is around, the hole is around the stiff wire, even if the key touches the wire, the circuit is not complete because the bulb is not glowing. The insulation cover on the wire, stiff wire, is not allowing the circuit to be completed. But when you come to this section, however carefully we do that, if the wire touches the key, the bulb will glow. Whether intentionally or otherwise, this bulb is glowing because the circuit is complete. This is how the circuit allows the current to flow from here and through the bulb and back here. This circuit can be used by you to check the patience of your friends. You can have a game to say how steady is your hand. You can do anything with it. You can probably put it up at the fate and check their patience, whether their hands are steady in taking the keyhole right across here without lighting the bulb. Because this would mean that the circuit would get complete and the bulb would glow. So, insulators, conductors and the circuit elements are all being used in your game to play with your friends, have fun with electrical circuits.